Hi YouTube, it's me, Candy, aka Candy Sweet Enough. Guess who just got back from New Orleans? I had a fabulous time. I got to do so much cool stuff and I got tons of free stuff and bought tons of stuff and I'm excited so you know I'm going to share with you because I always do. So let's start off by talking about the people that I met and of course you all know that I went out there with Angela and we ended up finding out that we are we just have a lot in common and uh, definitely the best person I could have gone there with without a doubt we had a blast uh, long drive we were exhausted but I flew in to Dallas Fort Worth at 8 30 and we got to her place about 9 30 she looks at me and goes you want to leave now I said sure so we left drove got there at 6 30 in the morning asked if we could check in because we were exhausted and they were very nice and said we could and um so we checked in and uh, they, they let us check in at 7 o'clock and the room was beautiful and the hotel was beautiful, the Astro Crown, right on Canal Street, right around the corner from Bourbon Street. So it was right in the big middle of everything. And um, as we're sitting there waiting to check in, who comes flying down around the corner but Michelle, Egg Face, and uh, we end up going out to coffee with her and uh, ended up meeting a bunch of the bariatric bad girls at, the, at coffee and I've decided Beth and the bariatric bad girls that sounds like an awesome band <laughs> so um, Beth and Andrea and Michelle and it, there's a whole bunch of the bariatric bad girls that were there and uh, they were all awesome and uh, it's really nice getting to go on vacation like this to some place that I've never been. Um, you know, Louisiana is big time known for their food, and so talking to people and listening to their tips on how to sample the local cuisine without getting sick after surgery is really cool. So, um, anyways, all of them were wonderful. And um, so we did some tours and such and uh, went on a haunted tour, a nighttime tour from nine to two. So two hours of walking was really <laughs> worth it. And uh, got to hear a whole bunch of really cool stories. And then Saturday was the main event. Um, and they had all the vendors and everything like that. And when I went to Las Vegas, I was so new. I didn't know anybody or anything, and I was very out of my element. But now, um, this time was so much different because people actually knew who I was. Uh, at, while checking in, uh, Andrea was checking in as soon as I put on my name tag, Candy is Sweet Enough. And, you know, she knows who I am. And, uh, so I got to sit there and talk with her and then we went over to the Slim Pressions table and Beth was working there and Beth looks because oh candy! So that was exciting. And then I'm walking through and I hear candy! It was Antonia and that felt really cool to be able to be recognized without anybody seeing She didn't even see my nan talk. She knew who I was and she couldn't wait to give me a hug and that was really awesome and I got <laughs> a new necklace this wasn't like a you know they weren't selling a big huge amount of these but they had a couple and um, I ran over mine with the car like a couple days after I got back from Vegas so mine was not in pretty shape so now I got a nice pretty one again so I'm very excited about that and uh, talking to Antonia, we were talking about, um, you know, she said try to spread the word as much as possible. Well, it was really strange. I know, I'm at an OH event, 
But still, I just thought more people knew about the WLSFA. It's surprising that more people don't. So um, every time that I went and sat at a table and we were talking, they'd go, oh, I went to this OH event and this one and that one. And I said, oh, have you been to the Vegas meet and greet for the WLSFA? So I always told them about it and they're like, oh, tell me more. And, you know, I'm like, you know, the samples and stuff that you get here is nothing compared to like what you get at the WLSFA. And it's a lot of people and it's in Vegas and it's fun. And, and so um, hopefully I talked a bunch of people into going. I hope so. Um, they, but, uh, you know, it's definitely important for people to know about the, the WLSFA. So, um, that, and, um, I got to meet all sorts of really awesome authors and bloggers and all of that. Um, I met Erin Akey and her husband, Benjamin, um, who called her show and, you know, we've had, I, I've, written to her here and there and everything like that so um, once we started talking she kind of recognized my name and she knew me and so that was very cool I got to sit there and talk to her for a long time and uh, Connie Stapleton and Carrie De La Cruz and everybody it was it was so fun and and let me tell you egg face the way her mind works is amazing she just the second she tastes anything she figures out how she can do this or do that or change this or change that and like take we were at the uh, celebrate table tasting the new cranberry drink which is awesome I love cranberry but you can mess up cranberry really good and this was very tasty so I was very happy and she's talking about oh I'm gonna take it home and I'm gonna put it with this and that and the other thing and everybody's going the the people working there were like oh you can't do that and she's like well no i'll just use half of this and this and that and they're like oh wow okay that sounds good we're gonna try that so um yeah you need recipe ideas world according to egg face is the place to go i tell you she's uh she's something she's so much fun and she's so sweet she's so cute <laughs> so um that was fun so we went around you got to go to whatever they had four different things where you picked them. It was, the show was opened up by Bo McCoy, who is absolutely entertaining and love him. And then there was another speaker that had done the Ironman races, which was really touching and just beautiful story, amazing. And then um, we picked, I think we went to the Chef Dave thing for, for uh, how to pack up for, um, my gosh. How to, you know, what kind of foods and stuff like that to keep in case of emergencies. So I learned a few things there. And then we went to uh, Aaron's talk. And, you know, listening to people talk about going from, you know, a high weight to becoming athletic or, or you know, just being able to walk and stuff like that's just amazing and always t touching. But um, y'all know that. I am a huge Disney fanatic, and uh, Erin and Benjamin are both Disney fanatics too. So she was talking about uh, doing 5K walks and jogs and stuff, and she had done a half marathon at Disney World. And she had her medal there, and she puts it on, and it's this great big face of Donald Duck. And I'm near tears, and I'm going, I will have that. So my new goals is, at the end of this year, I'm going to do a 5K walk for the um, City of Hope. That's been planned for a while. Next year, I want to do the three-day breast cancer breast, breast cancer walk. And by the next year, if not sooner, I will do a Disney half marathon. And she said she'd do it with me. I mean. I went and got her picture afterwards. I said, I'm going to have that. She said, I will do it with you. And um, had my picture taken with her and everything. And um, so it was very, very exciting. Then we went to Connie's Stapleton's thing, which I learned an amazing amount. I, I had didn't get to go to her stuff in Vegas because we were there, you know, it, too much going on. I, I'll tell you, there's too much to choose from, too much to do. So um, I never went to any of her her things that she did by herself. Oh, wait, you guys didn't get to see my shirt. Hey, Wally. Okay, um, 
so we went to her thing and just learned an amazing amount and um, I had went to buy her book Erin I went and bought the book from Erin and she signed it personalized it for me and I went over to her and she wasn't there it was just her daughter and her husband which I sat and chatted with and they're just beautiful wonderful people and they kept talking about my name and I had lots of compliments on the fact that I was named Candy Sweet Enough and um, so I explained about you know well I'm diabetic and I'm I'm a sweet enough person. I don't need extra sugar in my system, so I'm sweet enough, and I'm going to get rid of it through weight loss surgery. And everybody loved that story. So um, I, I was telling her daughter about it. Well, later on, after we were eating, um, walk back by, and I hear Candy, and I turn around, and it's Connie Stapleton saying, "Listen, my daughter has been telling me about this Candy, and I need to meet her, and I need to sign your book." So I took my book over there and she signed it. She talked to me and she invited me to stay afterwards to watch her and Carrie De La Cruz uh, do the, uh, they have a show called um, A Post Op in a Dock and they wanted me to see it. Well, when I was in Aaron Aki things, uh, thing, I was wearing like a leopard print top and everything and my beads and stuff and they went, well, you've got to be in the show. Come up with a question. So came up with my question after everything was over I went and recorded an episode with them which was unbelievable they were so sweet they complimented me in every way possible to compliment me and made me feel so good and they enjoyed my question and they loved that you know that I was a pre-op and they told me without a doubt that I was gonna do good because I have the right thoughts going through my head so it made me feel good. So anyways, this video is already long. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to make another one about my samples. But that's a little bit about my trip to New Orleans. We also did another tour of the cemeteries. And um, after walking miles and miles and miles, I came back with a 10-pound loss. Imagine that. So um, it was a lot of fun. Um, so I will come back with a part two. Thanks.